Hey, CMS Travel Band, we're going to Chicago. Here's a quick flyover of our trip and a little bit of an explanation. We'll start March 6th, Friday morning at 7 a.m. You'll get dropped off at CMS, and parents are welcome to come on in if they'd like, but basically we're going to collect medications. We are going to get our um, luggage put in the practice rooms for safekeeping for a few hours. And we're going to make sure we have our instruments and our iPads and we're all ready to go. We will sit down in the band area, have a few announcements, and then we're off to class. You'll go to first and second hour. And then third hour gets a little confusing because we're going to try to meet back in the band area at 11, which is at the beginning of C lunch. So if you eat A lunch, you will eat your lunch and then go to the first half of third hour. If you normally eat B lunch, you'll go to class, then B lunch, and then head down to the band area. If you're normally a C, D, or E lunch eater, you will um, get out of your third hour right after the first half of it when the bell rings, you'll come down and eat B lunch, either in the cafeteria or you can come down to the exploring music room if there's not enough room. Uh, they're telling me that for uh, C lunch, there, or for B lunch, there might not be quite enough room, which is fine. Come on down to the band area and we'll have some fun uh, as we talk about our trip. Then at 11 o'clock, we will sit down again in the band area. We'll hear from our principals and we will uh, just gather together and make sure everyone has what they need. Take attendance, of course, so we make sure we're not leaving anyone. And then we will start loading the bus. We'll have um, an assembly uh, of people along the sidewalk here to uh, make sure that we're ready to get all the bags passed and we'll just start passing bags and we'll load the under um, the under the bus so they have these loading bays okay they're luggage bays and we'll fill that all with percussion on one bus and on the other bus will be bags so bus one will be percussion that'll be up here on this part and then in the back they'll park along here um, not quite like these buses are parked here but and we'll load them up with luggage on bus two. Everyone will get on. We'll say our goodbyes. And off we head down 94 East toward Wisconsin, through Wisconsin, and down to Illinois. So our first stop will be at a rest area for you guys to go to the bathroom, uh, use the facilities, grab a drink of water, and head back to the bus. Real quick stop so that we can get where we're going. The main attraction is not the rest stop so let's make that a quick one and that's just for us and then we get down to east town mall in madison at this point we're getting close and east town mall is a real nice mall we've been there many times with a lot of groups when the marching bands go to dayton they often stop there and we stop there on almost every trip for a meal so they know uh what to do there it's a nice big mall with a big food court we'll be in the food court and then we'll head off to our first def destination in the city, which is the John Hancock Center. It's 100 stories tall, 1,128 feet high, uh, and it is awesome. So we're going to be there checking it out. We'll be at the top floor, so there's a fun elevator experience to get you up there. And then there's an experience at the top where you go in this area where they uh, you we've already purchased tickets you lean up against the glass a whole bunch of people at the same time and then the whole thing tips out over the edge of the building and you look down at the ground it's pretty cool and it'll be dark at night so you'll see all the city lights and you should be able to see all of Michigan Avenue here uh, and all the surrounding skyscrapers and all the cool stuff including looking out toward the bay I'm sure it'll be beautiful to kind of get an overview of the whole downtown area. So speaking of that, let me give you a quick flyover of the downtown area while we're at it. Let me see if I can manipulate this correctly. So just to back up a little bit, there's all the tall buildings downtown. Um, up here is where Blue Man Group is in Wrigley Field, kind of the north part of town. Lincoln Park Zoo is right there, History Museum is there. And then as you go down the, the edge of Lake Michigan here, you find the Field Museum, that's where we're performing in Millennium Park. There's a huge long park here uh, with Buckingham Fountain and the Navy Pier, um, Stadium, Shed Aquarium. And so we're kind of going to be spending a little bit of time down here when we're at the Field Museum. 
just to give you the lay of the land. Here's a nice marina. Should be a little bit warmer than what we're used to, which is pretty cool. Here's the harbor. And so this whole area right here is Millennium Park. There are ball fields. There's this Buckingham Fountain. Um, there's an amphitheater that we'll take a look at. Uh, the freeway kind of goes under here as well, so it's it's a pretty cool place. We will stay together uh, in groups for sure, but kind of the most the closest part to where we will be is right over here. I'll explain more about that a little bit later. But here's the bean, uh, which is a kind of a famous thing uh, people take pictures of. It's a mirror ball kind of bean shaped thing, and so we'll spend kind of some time in this promenade here looking at some of the architecture here's an audit um a uh, amphitheater pretty cool so we can spend time in there there's this really neat bridge uh, and some some interesting sculpture gardens and places to be large scale sculptures and we'll kind of stick together as groups there's a a lot to see there uh and Let's see, what else can I show you? The Navy Pier is up here. So this is kind of the whole overview of Chicago. So we'll spend the evening there at that um, at the 360 Tower. And then we're back off to our hotel, which is a ways away. It's about 45 minutes away, which saves us lots of money from being downtown. So we stay at the Chicago Marriott Schaumburg. That is our hotel. We'll go to sleep pretty quick. You'll be tired, hopefully. And then we'll uh, get up, have some breakfast, and we're off to Northwestern. So a bit of a drive in the morning over to uh, Northwestern in Evanston, Illinois, which is near downtown. Uh, and so here is Northwestern University. It is gorgeous. It is lakeside. Uh, and it's a great place to be. Hopefully we have a nice, beautiful day to walk around. We'll start by going into uh, the Beanin School of Music. So if I can do this right, I'll show you where that is. And I'll flip it around here quick, sorry. To the water side. And I'll go over this way a bit. So right along the lake, they have this kind of uh, inlet here. And this whole area is gorgeous. We'll take a walk down there after we rehearse. But over here is the Beanin School of Music. Um, I can't get over it if you uh, check this out. I can only imagine playing my instrument as a college student and looking out over this beautiful bay and having, you know, water to look at, sunshine, this beach right over here, uh, and this whole area. So we'll be going in and playing, not in that exact building, that's kind of their new auditorium. We'll be over here in this hall of music playing uh, with. Uh, Dr. Ferris. Mr. Ferris is going to give us a presentation and uh, work with us on our pieces, do some clinicking just like we've had a couple times now. And then we'll meet up with a couple Eden Prairie alumni who go to Northwestern currently. And they're uh, going to help us on a tour of Northwestern. And so we'll probably head over this way a little bit to some of the older architecture. We'll see kind of the classic old Northwestern area, kind of the old mall right here. And you'll see the rock. I think I just saw it over here. Uh, but they have a rock that they paint right there. We'll see some of this older stuff. Centennial Hall will come through probably this way, past the library. And we'll definitely spend some time in the waterfront here. We'll see some students around uh, and we'll, we'll check out a few things here. There's some really beautiful new architecture that you'll see. Their stadiums are over here, uh, their fields, the wildcats. And you can just kind of check out how beautiful the architecture is, uh, the interiors. We're going to eat lunch at a cafeteria on campus. And after that's all done, we will head off in the afternoon to Blue Man Group, which is back down in the north side of town here at the Briar Street Theater. And so we will get in there and check out Blue Man Group. If you don't know much about Blue Man Group, gosh, Google it, look on YouTube. And it's just kind of a pretty cool little theater here, but it will blow your mind what we see there. We're going to have to be a little careful walking down these streets. The buses usually have to park, I think, right over here in this lot. So we have to make our way 
across a couple crosswalks. And a lot of times Eden Prairie kids don't necessarily know how to do that. You cannot stand on the street or cars will have to stop. It's a, it's the law. Of course it's Chicago, so not everybody is gonna stop for you either. So the key here is wait for the lights, go together and pay attention to the lights, not to the people around you and the students around you who may not know what's going on. So rely on your own best judgment, not the judgment of somebody else. So here is Blue Man Group posters. We'll go in here, we'll have a good time. When we're done with that, we have a little bit of time back over at Millennium Park to hang around. We'll go, there's a nice spinning view of everything. Uh, so there's all of this kind of um, gardens and cool stuff over here. The backdrop is the water, uh, the bay, the marina, these tall buildings in the background. Uh, right down here coming into view is that bridge, the amphitheater, and then I'll bust over here to um, Cloud Gate, which is known as the Bean, and we'll see what's going on there. There's some sculptures down toward the south, right over here that you'll see. There's this famous crown fountain with uh, people's faces on it, and uh, who knows, you might get wet. We'll see. And then we're off to best pizza in Chicago, Gino's East Pizza for some deep dish Chicago style pizza. We'll spend some time there. We're gonna take our time eating. Most of our meals are pretty relaxed. A relaxed pace means we can talk to each other and hang out. One feature of Gino's East is that they have, as you can see here, sort of, uh, they, they allow you to write your name on the wall. So there's millions of names on the wall and we can make our mark too. We head back to the Marriott. And at the Marriott, we will have some time for swimming. We'll have some movies. We have basically the breakfast banquet room to ourselves as well as the pool. So we'll kind of go where we want to uh, and spend some time at the hotel, enjoying the hotel. And uh, obviously we're gonna be great guests. Uh, we're not gonna disturb anyone else. We're not gonna run down the halls because you can hear that in rooms. We're not gonna yell. We're just gonna walk casually because that's what we do. We're calm, collected, casual, and uh, it makes us look, you know, like we know what we're doing. It's confidence right there. And, the, and then we head off in the morning, first thing, to the Field Museum. Field Museum is uh, kind of a natural history museum. They've got uh, a large collection of, of some of the artifacts throughout the world, large things, big things. And it's in a beautiful location. So we will, most likely, if I'm seeing this correctly, we will be on, I think, the other side. So I'm gonna let it spin around here. I believe we'll pull up, nope, I'm not correct. We will be back on this side. And we will pull up probably here with the buses. I think this is right. Buses will park here. We will unload and down the sidewalk, we'll go in these doors. We will walk down the main hallway and up some stairs into this atrium, which is where we perform. So uh, I'll give you a little closer look. Again, buses will be parked along these sidewalks. We'll unload, we'll go in this door. They'll have some security and we will go up, uh, sorry, straight through here, up the stairs and into this atrium. To give you another look at it, we'll turn this way and we'll kind of back up. So that's kind of our, our area, our setup area is over here. This is where we'll put all the percussion together. It's a pretty cool museum. After um, spending some time in there, looking at all the exhibits, you'll come back out, uh, get the stuff, go back in, perform, and have a good time. And then we're off pretty quick after that. We have to load quickly and eat our lunch on the bus. And then we're off to a tour of Wrigley Field, a famous baseball park, an old school, old style park and we get a complete tour um, and they've just renovated some things. So that's pretty cool. Back on the bus, homework is done because we did it on the way out there and we're all heading back. We'll stop on the way at a truck stop for some dinner, fast food dinner. We're back to CMS. When we get to CMS, we'll unload the bus into the band room. So uh, your parents will have to understand that. It'll probably take you 15, 20, 30 minutes perhaps to get all the percussion and stuff back inside and um, hopefully we have good weather and no snow because that makes everything a little bit more crazy. 
And that is the end of our trip. We will not have rehearsal the next morning. Everything is 